this is Lego my Lego 90 here and today I am doing another news video and it's on Marvel now um, for Marvel there has been some release date changes and there's some more stuff that I ought to talk about so let's get straight on so um, as you can see Deadpool 3 and the fourth Captain America are changing release dates. So, or I should say, uh, they are um, swap swapping months for uh, 2024. So, Deadpool 3 is going to be uh, releasing to uh, May 3rd of 2024. As for the fourth Captain America, it's going to be uh, releasing on July 26th of 2024, so that's a delay. And it will not be called the New World Order. Instead, it's going to be called the Brave New World. As for Thunderbolts, so the Thunderbolts is going to be releasing in December 20th of 2024. So yeah, that's a, that's a change. As for Blade, it is going to release in uh, February 14th of 2025. Then after uh, Blade, the Fantastic Four is going to be... Uh, releasing on May 2nd of 2025 but you know most of these delays can be a good thing you know which I will have to which I will discuss probably later and um, as for the two Avengers films so uh, Avengers King Dynasty is gonna hit May 1st of 2026 and uh, Secret Wars is going to be releasing on May 7th of 2027. But yes, and yeah, there's been a lot going on due to the writer strike. And uh and I know I'd rather not talk about the, the accusations on Jonathan Majors, you know, where I don't want to create any drama, but I'm just going to discuss about Fantastic Four. Now, for the casting rumors on Fantastic Four, so the person that's rumored to be playing Reed Richards and Mr. Fantastic is uh, Adam Driver, but that rumor could possibly come true because I think uh, that that uh, Adam Driver would do a fantastic fucking job to uh, play Reed Richards and Mr. Fantastic. And I know re I recognize Reed Richards from... What am I saying? Uh, I know I recognize Adam Driver as Kylo Ren from uh, the Disney Star Wars films like The Force Awakens, Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker. I know he was in The House of Gucci, even that movie 65. Like, he could be a perfect choice. Another casting rumor for uh, Sue Storm and for... Uh, which we know as Invisible Woman is Margot Robbie, which she played uh, Harley Quinn. And she was also in Wolf of Wall Street and a, and a couple other movies. And pretty soon to play being Barbie. Now, Margot Robbie, it does turn out she may not be playing Sue Storm like the rumor. Could have maybe Miss Vanessa Kirby, which she was in uh, Mission Impossible, The Fallout, which she's soon going to be in Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, like both parts. And I know Vanessa Kirby was also in Hobbs and Shaw, which is that Fast and Furious spinoff. Like, she could be a good choice to play Sue Storm. As for other uh, Fantastic Four casting rumors, so some casting 
members for like you know to play Johnny Storm, aka uh, Human Torch, is to be uh, Paul Mescal. And as for um, the thing, so the person who were, who's uh, rumored to play the thing is um, David Diggs. I mean, I don't mind what uh, casting choices they choose for Fantastic Four because John Krasinski was only um, Reed Richards and Mr. Fantastic in a variant in uh, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. So, maybe there's possibilities for returns, I'm not sure. But I know Avengers King Dynasty or Secret Wars is where they're supposed to show all sorts of variants. But still, delays would be a good thing so they, so they don't attempt to have like rushed uh, CGI or something, you know, where they'd become like failures or some shit, you know. But still, Marvel would need time. Like, uh, I know a uh, secret invasion is going to be coming uh, this month, and we'll also get Agatha the Heart Heartless, even uh, season two of Loki. Now, as for Jonathan Majors, who is currently testifying in court, we'll have to see what his innocence, see if his innocence can get proven. You know. Uh, before Marvel attempts to make a move to recast him, you know. And some Marvel projects that are yet to be announced. Uh, for like, uh, change in Phase 5. Even, uh, uh, Phase 6. Like, I know we're supposedly supposed to get, like, uh, the X-Men, and, of course, uh, Spider-Man 4, you know? Because for, with uh, Daredevil Born Again, you know, like, like, uh, I know King Pen is likely gonna be making his way in probably a Spider-Man film. Where Tom Hall and Spider Man could defeat Kingpin. Even announcements about Ironheart and Armor Wars, you know? And I know Shang Chi is probably going to be getting a sequel. Maybe even Doctor Strange. Like, Doctor Strange is probably going to be getting a third movie. And. Who knows what else uh, Marvel could announce, you know? But I know the TVA is going to be pretty much doing part in, uh, in uh, Deadpool 3. But we'll see whatever Marvel has to offer because San Diego Comic Con is coming out soon. Like, I not only look forward later, f like, for the um, MCU, but I also look forward to the DCU that James Gunn is working on. While that's a long ways away, I might, I'm, I'm most definitely gonna catch up on the DCEU films, starting with Wonder Woman in 1984, even, um... Then watch uh, Black M, and then Shazam, Fury of Gods. I'll definitely watch The Flash when it comes on, Max. All in all, I think that's all I'll do for this video. But yes, I am planning on seeing Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, so... Yep, Indiana Jones and Dial of Destiny, and... I have been watching the first four Indiana Jones movies on Disney Plus, so they are available on there, so you can go watch them. And uh, before Indiana Jones Dial of Destiny releases, I might do a Indiana Jones video, like 
discussing about the timeline. Then after Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, I I'm also gonna see look, looking forward to seeing Mission Impossible: Dead Reckoning Part One. But I could maybe see Oppenheimer instead. I don't know, but I could likely see Oppenheimer on streaming. You know. And I do look forward to Gran Torino in August, and then uh, October I look forward to the Finance Phrase movie. I'll have to see whatever is interesting to see in September. As for November, I do look forward to seeing Dune Part 2. Although Ms. Marvel is going to be releasing in November, I probably won't see it. I might watch it when it comes to Disney+. Plus. Then after... Um, Dune Part 2, I'll probably see uh, the fourth Ghostbusters film. All in all, if you guys like what you saw, make sure you click like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and uh, join my Discord fan server. The link will be in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.